Hey everyone, I want to show you how to use my baseball uh, lineup optimizer software tool. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do here is the main screen. And the first time you use this, if you remember, you press uh, refresh logins after you put your login in, then you don't have to do that anymore. Uh, here's the main the main area. Whoops, not too far. And um, you, can, it's, you can have all the games here. The first thing you got to do is press refresh stats. It'll pull in today's stats. You can have yes or no for all the different things. Because uh, this takes some time, so sometimes if you're running it later in the day, you might only want to get banning order or weather, um, the lines and the salaries you only want to run once. So you press refresh, it would pull in, it would give you a list of all the games here, uh, then it would take you to uh, updating all the batting and pitchers here. It's going to give you all the stats, like it's going to have all the like the hierarchy stats here, um, the salaries, and then more advanced stats further on, and the same with the pitchers. So it's going to have all uh, all of the stats there. After you run it, you want to make sure you want you got to transfer the players to the multi lineup. This is where you actually run your lineups. So you have this include yes or no, and say you just want to play the late games, you drop this down to no, and see I'm dropping all all these to no. So what it's going to do it's going to only transfer over these games here. You click transfer players, and then it's going to move into this multi lineup tab. And these are all the players that sol that solver that Excel is going to choose from. You get your options up at top of what you want to do. You can, if you want to stack a team, how many do you want to stack on the team? How many lineups do you want? Uh, whose projection do you want? Mine or yours? Or uh, or just the average? Um, there's a tolerance that's lower or, or high. That's just basically on how many lineups and how fast you want this to run. I usually just leave it on low because it runs a little faster. Uh, constrain the site limits. Uh, yes or no. That just means like in FanDuel you can only have four per one team. I mean, I would only use this if you're playing like a three-game slate. Otherwise, it's it's odds are you're not going to get more than four or six uh, of a certain team on a, on a player. And if you put yes, it slows it down a little bit. Uh, here's include only those in the starting lineup. There's a option here over to the right that shows the starting lineup. If you want to, you would do this when it's closer to uh, like game time. Like if you're playing 7 o'clock games, maybe 6 o'clock you'll have all the, the lineups in there. So you might only want to play people that are actually in the lineup. If you're running this early in the day... You don't know who's in the lineup yet, so you're gonna you probably put this to no. And if you wanted to exclude a certain team from being in any of the lineups, you would put this. Uh, here's a couple buttons to like um, to clear different columns. And then when you're all set, and you have it all ready to go. You can uh, choose a variance. This is just the difference between the lineups. Uh, like if you're running 10 lineups, like the first lineup might be 200 points. That means the second lineup can't be more than 195 if you have a 5 here. And so on. I usually use like 1 or 2. Depends how many lineups I'm running. Uh, there's also an option here to like include probable starting batters only. Uh, if you click that, it'll only just show the, the people that are probably starting. And there's a few other options here to exclude uh, players under this certain salary. When you're all set, you run the lineups by either clicking to run FanDuel or run DraftKings lineups. It'll take you to here, and these are these are your uh, your lineups. It'll show the batting order, where they're, where they're batting in the lineup. It's going to have all the lineups going down here. Uh, if you wanted to ch click this for an injury report, you can see the, the injury report of, of these players if, they have, if they're on the injury report. But, um, but they shouldn't be if they're showing up in the lineup. Uh, what you can do, you can make your own projections here. See, um, based on here, you can kind of run like these are our projections here, is your projections based on different categories, like their OPS at home away. If it is it greater than even average, lower than, and you can put your projections in here, and then you can update your projections. So then you have your own unique set of projections that only you will have, and you can experiment with this, change it around, like um, the opponent's rank versus lefty and righties, top or bottom. And you can change this around and it'll update it. Or you can just go right to this tab, this your projections. You can just copy a bunch of players' names, put the projection in. Maybe you get it from another website that has projections. You can put it in here and upload it, upload projections, and it's just going to show right up to here. So after you upload it, then you still need to, to go to here and transfer the players over to this multi-lineups in order to actually run the lineups. And that's pretty much it. I also have a tab called Instructions, which kind of goes over everything I just talked about. So that's uh, the that's, uh, my uh, back-end view to show the, how the uh, how this works from, from a user point of view. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.